YouTube. Well, another day done. Another day closer to getting out of here. Huh, grass on my arm. No idea where that came from. Anyway, don't have a whole lot to talk about tonight, but I did want to make a little video here. Basically, I just want to talk about uh, camp life a little bit and a couple of don'ts. As we have, there is more people that were uh, booted from camp today. Well, at least at this camp, we're close by a community here. It's uh, known as Conklin. And apparently there's a bar there. I wouldn't know. I'd never been. Don't plan on it. Don't know anything about the bar other than it's there. A little bit of crush, uh, grape for a change. Don't drink much pop anymore. Um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, don't. If you ever get to a camp and there's a bar nearby, if it's not a, if it's a dry camp, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Like I said, there was three. There was uh, two guys that were booted from one crew and a couple of others from another. They all went down to Con to Conklin last night and had a few drinks, got uh, plastered and drove back. Well, when they got to the security gate at uh, for the their campsite, which was it wasn't the one I'm in, it was uh, another one. They smelled booze on their breath, and they didn't let the, and they turned them away, and basically they got kicked. They got kicked out. Of, they got fired for it. One for drunk driving. The, they were fired for that, and there's zero tolerance for uh, alcohol here. So, was that night out with the boys really worth it? No. Not when you're looking at, you may have spent maybe a hundred bucks at the most on on liquor, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much they spent. I wasn't there, like I said. And then, uh, you have no job. No. Nine days is not all that long to go without having a having a beer or another, or any other drink yeah I may complain about it a little bit here and tell you guys to have a beer for me and shit like that but really though I'll wait until I get till I get the hell out of here and then I'll drink and then I'll have a couple beer I mean it's not a problem for me to go nine days without having without having a beer or some rum or whatever else it's just not worth it, plain and simple. The money, I'm not saying the money here is absolutely fabulous. Like I'm getting paid ridiculous amounts of money. I'm not. I, I get paid what I'm what I'm worth. I bust my ass for these for this company, and I will continue to do so. I think what I'm being paid is fair. I'm away from my family, my friends, the only real friends I have here, my landlord and Marcel. Which is why I talk about him so much. But another thing that I have to say is uh, definitely a don't do is drugs, pure and simple. It's just not worth it at all. Like I said, there was a guy that was kicked off the other day. He refused the drug. He refused the uh, what we call a piss test, which is just a drug test, and. The reason why, my guess, and from what I've talked to other people, the reason, the only reason why someone would refuse that is if they had something to hide. And as far as Sonovus is concerned, that's what you're doing. You're gone. You're terminated. Now, marijuana, say you've, you're a very, very infrequent user, will sit your system for, it can sit your system for over a month. So, going out on your days off and having a joint or smoking up it's not worth it really is not when something could happen all it's going to take is for you to be in the area and someone has an accident and they pull you you get pulled into that into that problem then they drag you in for a urine test or piss test and either you refuse and get let go or you take it you test positive and you let it let and then you get let go and there's really no winning there. Now, other drugs, I don't know. I've heard things 
I have no use for any of it. It's not me. It's not something I do. I vape. I drink beer. Have a few hard, harder liquors too, but again, that's just that's just me. I don't do any of that other stuff. But if you're planning on doing camp life, your best bet is just to, if you want to do something to unwind or whatnot, drink on your days off if you want to do that. Go ahead. Make sure you're done drinking 24 hours before you hit the buses. Because if you go to the buses and you're, it's in your system and they can smell it, you're refused on site. And, you, and if you're on Snowbus property again, well, sorry about that, guys. Uh, on Skype with uh, my wife, Adrian. Just want to give her, say hi to her in the video as well. She's gone to bed. But, uh, yeah, it's really not worth it. Not in the least. It's would it, would you want to say go to your go to your job that you currently have high and risk getting fired or going drunk? No, you wouldn't. Most people anyway. Here it's the same thing. As long as I'm on, as long as I'm on camp, as far as Sonovus is concerned, and I understand completely why it's a safety issue, is that uh, you're on their time until you leave they don't want accidents to happen and nine times uh, nine times out of ten if there's a, if there's drugs or alcohol involved there's going to be a problem and they don't want that they want to have a safe environment for their workers and I can't blame them I'd, I'd be in the same boat I would say the same thing But, uh, yeah, it's, again, not worth it. I love my job. It's not worth, nothing's worth jeopardizing it for. Some of these guys weren't here that long. One of them, this was his first shift. It's a shame. He was a nice guy. I talked to him a few times. But, again, this is camp life. If you don't like it, you can't stay away from this stuff then you're not cut out for it pure and simple now other things they don't like or don't want here are like bear mace knives you're not allowed to have a knife at all which is strange I mean I understand part of it but there are times at work that a knife would really come in handy but we're not allowed pure and simple Guns, obviously. I mean, even if you have a firearms permit or whatever for for carry, you're not allowed to have it here. Period. Doesn't matter. And I understand that. I mean, it's an issue. And recently at camp, there's been a lot of break-ins and vehicles and stuff like that. And if your firearm is in the vehicle or what have you, that's just one more thing for them to get. And that's a scary thought, because if they're breaking into vehicles and that, like I've said in a previous video, when this all went down, what are they going to do with that gun? Say you're outside having a cigarette or vaping or whatever, what else have you, going out for fresh air in the, in the evening, and you see someone breaking into a vehicle and there's a gun in there, and you say something to try to scare them off, and they find that gun when you say it. Well, that gun's now uh, now has a good chance of being turned on you. If they're uh, desperate enough to steal from a place where there is security on site, is posted. There is an electric fence around the site. Barbed wire, the works. Then they're pretty desperate and they you don't want to even imagine what they could do. Now, some of the rules, at least in our camp, your work boots aren't allowed beyond the mud room which is basically a boot room it's a great big room it stinks like hell because it's all full of work boots you have to have indoor shoes which i've got now because i couldn't stand walking around in my sock feet or bare feet drove me crazy and yeah so that's one of the rules here at least that sun at sunday creek i'm not sure about other camps but another one is no hats in the lunchroom I understand for some people that's a respect thing. For me, it's never really been that. 
took me a little bit of getting used to and trying to remember not to wear my hat in the lunchroom as they get quite upset. But it's their sandbox, their rules. No, I'm not farting. That is just the chair. Anyway, um, another thing, if you have your own lunch bag, I bring my own because one, I'd rather use reusable than a paper bag. One, it holds up longer too. It's less garbage that I'm generating. Plus, it also keeps my food cold longer. But that's beside the point. You're not allowed to have that in the lunchroom or in the uh, cafeteria or in the lunchroom. I mean by your the brown bag room. And basically, you grab your stuff for your lunch down at site. I throw them, like I said, I throw them all mine in uh, in my lunch in my lunch bag. But uh, yeah, they don't want it in the lunch in the lunch room. They don't want it in the eating area, the dining hall itself. I understand the dining hall itself because well. Room's limited. This is uh, these camps aren't that big. They're just made for sleeping, relaxing after work, and going. And that's it. I mean, there's a gym and stuff like that, but there's really not a whole lot of room. As you've seen from the jokes I've made in my videos, they're not big rooms, and there's a reason for it. They're trying to put as many people into these camps as possible, using the little space as possible to do so. So, what do you expect? Uh, oh, something else I wanted to go over. At least go over some of the amenities here. So, like I said, they have a gym, which is great. It, from what I've heard, there's two gyms. There's one in the uh, Overflow, which is called Sunday South. And there's one in the main camp, which is where I'm at in the main. Another uh, thing they have... They have foosball tables, they have uh, poker tables, po uh, pool, they've got two massage chairs, which are the zero gravity massage chairs. I've never used them, they're too, exp they're too expensive for my taste, but everyone who I know who has says they're well worth the $10 that you pay to, to use them. But he might actually go, says he sits there for two rounds. He says it, he feels amazing afterwards. I'm probably never going to use it. Just like uh, if you put your laundry in a pile on your bed with a $20 bill on top, they'll wash your laundry fold and bring it back. Haven't used that yet either, probably won't. I mean, it's nothing for me to do it. It's a pain in the ass because there's only three washers, three dryers for my wing. I don't know if there's dryers, washers and dryers upstairs. I would assume so. I, yes, there is. I would up there. Sorry. Just remember that here now. So there's another three up on the upper level. This uh, camp's only a uh, two-story. But, yeah, like I said, there's washers, dryers, to do, your do your clothes. There's no charge for those. They have their own, uh, their own detergent for you. You don't have to bring your own. There's no charge for that either. Um, trying to think here. There's TVs with cable in your room, which is for as where we are it's fa that's fabulous i'm assuming it's satellite driven because i really can't see a cable provider laying cable just for this camp because there really isn't anything else out here i mean if you're yeah, if you go to conklin but I, on this road i haven't even seen there's nothing but camps that's it there's no houses no nothing um in the in the uh dining room there's is divided to two sections. There's two dining rooms that might on the main in the main camp itself. Each of them have a big screen TV. There's also a big screen TV in what's known as the Diamond Cave, which is where all the uh, the the pool table is and all that other stuff, which is awesome. Your rooms don't obviously have a big screen TV, as I showed last night, I believe, where I stuck my hand on the computer on the. Uh, and the uh, computer monitor size TV. I'm just uh, tossing my sweatband from my hard hat and go to, gotta wash that. I'm one of the few people that does that because they run out so freaking quick because people aren't bothering to reuse them and there's nothing wrong with just throwing it in the wash with your clothes. It's not going to ruin your clothes or anything like that. It's just going to clean it. Throw it in your hard hat. Take your old, take the one that you had in there out 
set it with your laundry. It's not a big deal. You got to do your laundry anyway, so you might as well just wash that too. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot else I can think to talk to you about. This video is running a lot longer than I thought it would. So I've been rambling as usual. I'm sorry about that. But uh, I want to give a shout out again to my wife, Adrian. She's been under the weather a little bit lately, so I hope she's feeling better. Marcel, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Can't or this week. Can't wait. Another day and a half, brother. Another day and a half, and I get out of here, and then we can go. We can go out and go camping, which will be freaking awesome. As long as you let me, as long as you run me to a, a beer store, I don't care. I want to pick up that sixty pack and have at her. Now I'm gonna pick up a surprise here for the wife in the near future. I'll let, I'll let you guys know this after I've showed her. I'll post the video for that. I'll record it for you guys before she knows, and I'll try to see if I can get a reaction video. Um, what else was there? I think that was about it. I guess the video's gotten way too long. I'm sorry, guys. Have Again, as I always say, have a beer for me, and have a great one. Peace.